The Willie Mays World Series Most Valuable Player MVP award is given to the player deemed to have the most impact on his team's performance in the World Series, which is the final round of the Major League Baseball MLB postseason. The award was first presented in 1955 as the Sport Magazine Award, but is now decided during the final game of the series by a committee of reporters and officials present at the game. On September 29, 2017, it was renamed in honor of Willie Mays in remembrance of the 63rd anniversary of the catch. Mays never won the award himself. Pitchers have been named series MVP 27 times, four of them were relief pitchers. Twelve of the first 14 World Series MVPs were won by pitchers. From 1969 until 1986, the proportion of pitcher MVPs declined. Rolly Fingers 1974 and Brett Saberhagen 1985 were the only two pitchers to win the award in this period. From 1987 until 1991, all of the World Series MVPs were pitchers, and, since 1995, pitchers have won the award nine times. Bobby Richardson of the 1960 New York Yankees is the only player in World Series history to be named MVP despite being on the losing team. The most recent winner was Steve Pierce of the Boston Red Sox, who won the award in 2018. Topic Winners Topic By Team Topic By Position Topic Multiple Winners Topic. See also Babe Ruth Award List of Major League Baseball Awards Baseball Awards Hashtag United States Topic. Notes Johnny Padres won the inaugural award in 1955 with the Brooklyn Dodgers. Padres, with nine wins and ten losses during the regular season, beat the Yankees twice in the series, both victories were complete games. Don Larson won the 1956 World Series MVP after pitching the only no-hitter in World Series history. In the fifth game of the series, the no-hitter was also a perfect game. Bobby Richardson won the 1960 World Series MVP while playing for the losing team in the series, the New York Yankees, and had 12 runs batted in, a World Series record. He is also the only second baseman to win the World Series MVP. The first non American to win the award was Pedro Guerrero in 1981. In 1977, Reggie Jackson hit three home runs in the deciding game, taking the nickname, Mr. October, in which October is the month of the MLB postseason. Jackson had a total of five home runs in the series, a World Series record. Willie Stargell won the 1979 World Series MVP at the age of 39, and is the oldest World Series MVP. In 1996, John Wetland won the World Series MVP, setting a World Series record with four saves. Sixteen World Series MVPs were inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame, Alan Trammell 1984, Jack Morris 1991, Paul Molitor 1993, Tom Glavine 1995, and Randy Johnson 2001 are the only Hall of Famers to have won the World Series MVP since 1981. Molitor is also the first designated hitter to win the World Series MVP. 
Hideki Matsui, the 2009 winner, batted in six runs in the sixth game of the 2009 World Series, tying Richardson's record of most runs batted in for a single World Series game. Matsui became the first Japanese-born player to win the award, as well as the first player to win it as a full-time designated hitter. He is also the only player named both a World Series and a Japan Series MVP. Three players have won the award twice, Sandy Koufax 1963, 1965, Gibson 1964, 1967, and Jackson 1973, 1977. Jackson is the only player to have won the award with two different teams. There have been two occasions on which multiple winners were awarded in the same World Series, Ron Cey, Pedro Guerrero, and Steve Yeager in 1981, and Johnson and Schilling in 2001. The duo of Johnson and Schilling combined for all four of Arizona's wins in the 2001 World Series, Johnson had three of them. Twelve of the 58 World Series MVPs have also won the MLB MVP, the Cy Young Award, or the LCS MVP in the same season. Koufax 1963, Frank Robinson 1966, Jackson 1973, Stargell, and Mike Schmidt 1980 are the only players to have won the MLB MVP and the World Series MVP. A total of six players won the Cy Young Award and the World Series MVP in the same season, Bob Turley 1958, Whitey Ford 1961, Koufax 1963, 1965, Brett Saberhagen 1985, Oral Hershiser 1988, and Johnson 2001. Seven players have won the World Series MVP in the same season in which they won the LCS MVP, Stargell 1979, Darrell Porter 1982, Hershiser 1988, Livan Hernandez 1997, Cole Hamels 2008, David Fries 2011, and Madison Bumgarner 2014. All of them were the NLCS MVPs. Koufax 1963 is the only person to have won the Cy Young Award, the MLB MVP, and the World Series MVP in the same season, while Stargell 1979 is the only person to have won the MLB MVP, the LCS MVP, and the World Series MVP in the same season. Hershiser won the Cy Young Award, the LCS MVP and the World Series MVP in the same season. In the fourth inning of the 2015 All-Star Game, 2014 World Series MVP Madison Bumgarner pitched to future 2015 World Series MVP Salvador Perez, who struck out but reached first due to a passed ball. This was the first time the previous year's MVP faced the current year's future MVP in the All-Star Game. Bumgarner and Perez also faced each other in the final play of the 2014 World Series, Perez popped out, 